everybody. Pam at the Paper Outpost. Continuing working in this journal. Had a fun idea today. Thought I would make some specialty stationery to work in this journal. So I just grabbed a pile of stuff, random stuff, and I thought I'd pull it out. So here is, you might recognize this as, um, it came, this is paper from a composition notebook. You know, those black covered notebooks that you can get for a dollar around the beginning of school time. Um, I did coffee dye the pages and apparently they were just sitting there. I must have uh, released the pages from the cover. So I didn't get anything out of here. Uh, and uh, just thought I would play with these and turn them into something kind of cool. And I've got some other, These. Are, this is actually from a, uh, this is a d signature digi kit, meaning they're faintly printed pages so that you can journal on top of them and just print them out as whole pages and then, you know, fold them in half and use them in your junk journal. You can print them on both sides. Um, this one is butterfly themed, butterfly oasis. No, yes, butterfly oasis. It's terrible when you can't remember the own name, your own names of your digi kits. Um, oh, here's some from, uh, what's this? Blossoms, dragonfly signature pages. <laughs> as she asks uh yep as yes, there are definitely dragonflies on it it's the one with the word dragonfly in the name so those are pretty in that that'll actually go really well with the theme of this journal because i i want to foster this journal as a botanical uh flower stylized journal just for fun i just like that that uh right now it's uh, early spring and um that might be fun to to do some flowery nature botanical stylized things so i'm just you're gonna just see me doing random things here today um just playing with the papers uh so i'm just grabbing what i have and sometimes we mass make stuff and then we forget we we did it so now i'm actually gonna use some of the stuff i mass made so there you go look at me i think i'm going to cut all of this into paper pieces that can be used for um stationery Sunny is digging in the pillows on the couch for some unknown reason. All right, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll, I'll tear them differently. I'm do some wide and some long. How about that? Mm hmm. All right, so we have some like that. And maybe we're going to do some long ones. Just have a little a variety. So I hope you're having fun with your papers today and everything is dandy. Let's see if I can square this up on my craft mat. Maybe I'll get a straight line. Maybe. I'm promising. Let me move that over a little bit. Yeah, that looks like about halfway. All right, there we go. And this is just a metal ruler. It says like a sharpish edge. This one is corkback. This is probably my favorite one. It's by Westcott. Um, okay. So there's so many different ways that you can make stationary paper. And let's say you don't have a lot of ephemera or old papers. You could just make things that look old, which is kind of fun. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I want to make little trifolds here. And let me just... Grab a couple daubers and maybe some inks, and we'll just play. Okay, so we're thinking spring. So maybe we're gonna do lilac and walnuts in here. Some pink. There's a little purple, but I don't want to, I want a green. Yeah, let's do some green. All right. Um, and here is some leaves. Okay. Well, I think, okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. So these are just extra little writing papers that you can add into your junk journals for fun so that people have even more writing space. Field paint color, distress ink. Okay, so I'm just going to go down here and do a little border on the front of this, which is kind of cute. Okay, and then maybe I'll do a, a little central focal point here. Light leafies in the background. Let me open that. There's something in there. These are just little fun, nondescript things. They're very low pressure, very beginner friendly. Um, just an easy step-by-step -step process. A little beginner tutorial. 
on how to very easily have fun with simple pieces of paper and you're just amplifying their own beauty and you're giving people uh, I'm paper play toys to use in their junk journals. Um, and I think that's kind of neat. And you're really only limited by your imagination. Then I have some splotches on here, so I'm going to, instead of hide the splotches, I'm going to maybe I'm going to put even more splotches. What the heck, right? Make it look as if it was all intended. There we go. Give up the corners a little bit. Don't fight it. No, go with it. That's what the, my best advice of the day is. Don't fight it. Go with it. Because uh, if it's already there, you might as well just build upon it. Or you can cover it up. That's the old backup. All right. There we go. That's kind of cool. So now we do have some little things in here already that are ready to go. Meaning I have little pockety stylized areas which could accommodate these little little thingies. Are you a, are you a pocket? What are you? Did I glue you down? You don't feel very glued down like you want to come off. What do you want to do? Oh, you're stuck in that corner, but not really. I don't think you were meant to come off. I think you were meant to be glued down and probably my glue wasn't flowing that well that day. Now you're down because the glue is flowing. There we go. All right, let's just look through here see where we might put this little guy. Maybe we already have, this is what he was I was thinking it was a little pocket like that. But no, 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 no. Are you a belly band? Oh, you're a belly band. Look at you. Will you fit? Probably too fat. Oh no, it'll fit. Look at that. All right. Slide your little self in there. There you go. There we go. So now you can do something like that. Very fun, right? All right, let's make something else. These are just fun and easy things. Um, okay, so what else can I do with this? Um, well, I could definitely just fold one in half. And I could just make them single sheets, too. You don't have to really do anything with them. Maybe I'm going to pull out the old very fancy decolage scissors. And cut around. A little fancy border. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. And it won't require the fold in the middle that I just put. So I'm going to have to retreat out of that. And uh, I, something about simple paper that is just so amazing to me. I just love the feel of it, and I could play with it for hours. I know it's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to do that sim same type of concept. I'm going to do the, like, the trifold brochure style. And maybe, yes, maybe. All right, there. Let me get my little thing here so I can ink on it. Not completely mess up everything. Okay, let us cover that. Maybe, maybe we're going to do worn lipstick this time. This is worn lipstick distress oxide. This poor thing has been beaten up with brown ink so many times I, I can't even tell you. Okay. Highlight these edges. I really don't even need to do this back panel because I'm going to glue that back panel right onto the page. Okay, I like to do the folds because I think it pops them nicely. And let's go around and do the inside because the inside's actually going to show more than anything. You can turn this whole page pink if you want. Let's say you didn't you didn't coffee dye it. Well, maybe you just want to ink it, and you can ink it with brown and make it look aged that way. So you can do that. You can use um, shoe polish. You can use makeup. And you can use distress inks. Whatever you've got that has pigment on it, you can put on your papers. And maybe you want to try using different things every once in a while to get different looks. So there you go. Okay, so we have that. So let's pick a page. Well, I'm going to decorate it first. Don't get all ahead of yourself, Sally. All right, I'm not ahead of myself, Sally. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, that's pretty. Here's a nice flower for our fl botanical flower. I'll put that right on there. And I have this because I just found it today. It's not super fat. Maybe I'll double it. It's this styrofoam stuff from packing. Makes really great uh, thingy to put under your um, what you're going to stamp on. Now, hopefully, I won't prove myself wrong here. I'm going to do my darndest not to and impress the pants off you. 
Okay, let's see. This is black soot. I know that was hard to read, but it got all black and sooty. Here we go. Okay. There we go. See the nice impression? I don't know. It makes like a novice stamper like me come up with some pretty cool impressions. So if you come across this stuff in packaging with electronics or whatever it is, I don't know, whatever you find that in, and um, do it, like grab it and save it because it's craft or gold. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm going to go in the second signature. Oh, that would be a nice place to put this one. It just is very, very pretty right there. I think I want to intensify the pink. I'm feeling pink intensification needs to occur. It needs to occur right now. Here we are. going to intensify. Yeah. So I really want this to be showing up. Okay. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. You're getting glued down. You're getting glued down, Sally. You're going in. All right. Here we go. Poor Sally. <laughs> to, I, to all the Sallys out there, you know I adore you. Okay. Here we go. There. And now this will open up and you can do something there. Maybe I want to put a little something on the inside. Let's see. Something botanical. Okay, we have this. This is a, it's either Queen Anne's lace or like a poof from a dandelion. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to roll with it. Put some black soot in there. Of course, this is the afterthought. Now I don't have the spongy thing under here at all. Just gonna put it here. It'll be fine. It's okay. Just for a little something. And then as the book closes, that'll help hold the curliness of this down flat. All right, so that was fun. That was easy to do. Now let's see what else do we have. We have these. These are pretty. I would like to incorporate these into the journal. Now, I have already sewn this journal together. This is an older journal that I had from 2019, and I'm reconstructing it uh, and um, amping it up bringing it into the year 2024, what I'd like to do is add this page. Now this is an eight and a half by 11 page. This particular page, I have it printed set so it prints with a border, but I think I'm gonna take the border off. Can't pick up anything with these nails. Okay, try this. Putting the flat, sharp edge of the ruler down here along the border, the little skinny side under here, and that's an easy way. No, well, it didn't go that great, but it um, got rid of most of the white. Let me see. If it, I think I need to put more pressure on it. That's what I didn't do. Let's try it again. Yep. Clean as a whistle on that run. So this is a little tip for you. If you're trying to tear a skinny end off, cover your very sharp metal ruler. Westcott makes a good one. I'm not promoting their... Just, I just like their rulers. Okay. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> okay. Um, here we go. They really do make good rulers. I don't know who they are, where they came from, but they know what they're doing with the rulers. I don't even think they know how excited I get about the sharp metal edge. But it's a, it's a nice alternative to cutting with the scissors because it's you know, it gives a little bit of a rough edge, if you can see that. A rough torn edge, which is attractive in this type of style of stuff. So I think I'm just going to ink the edge of that to make it look a little more pronounced. And, and the shortening of the page will allow it to nestle onto another journal page well. So you're saying, Pam, what are you going to do? Are you, are you going to sew it in? No. No, no, no. I'm going to glue this baby in and make an extend a page. So it's adding an extra page to a journal that maybe um, you, you have room in the journal. And, and from my perspective, there's tons of room in this journal. And also... It gives you kind of a cool thing that you can add and give them without, you don't, you're not, it's not hard to do. Okay, that's what I'm really trying to say. It's not hard to do. So let me let's find a little contender page here. Oh, you might be a good contender page. Uh -huh. 
No, I like the way that looks. Like that. Okay. Now, um, oh, because I printed it on both sides. Look at me. I'm so cool. So you could actually glue it down and just uh, the whole back. I've never done that. But I thought maybe I would, yeah, I would glue the edge of it there. Okay, let me do that. Let me, okay. Creating on the fly here. Bring that. That looks pretty, like a nice little border right there. Okay. But I think I'm going to glue that there with the old Fabric Fix now that it's flowing and good and working well and happy pants again. All right. There we go. And we're down. And we're on the page fully. We're on the page fully. All right. So now maybe, because there is a fold, I'm going to... Is it brown? No, it's pink. Or brown. Okay. Just brown up this edge. Okay. We'll take this. Fold it this way. Well, we'll go ahead and ink that because we're here. Yeah. Hance it a little bit. Okay, and then fold it back upon itself. Maybe I'll just ink this up a little bit. And maybe I'm going to go in and I'm going to ink that inner one too. Fold it back upon itself. You could do this multiple, multiple ways. You could tuck the whole thing in there, do it like that, or you could look at make it look like an accordion style fold. A little concertina kind of look. Do it that way, which I think is what I might do. Now I, I might want to put some little enhancement here. Let me look not far. What do I have here? There are some. Oh. Okay, I have some choices. I have some odd little birds, but they're not exactly the same theme. I do have this pretty little paper I was working with the other day, and it does have some a pretty little yellow flower. I think I'm going to pull out of there. I'm going to fussy cut it right out of there. Whoops. All right. Nope. Sonny did not get stabbed by the falling scissors, thankfully. Okay. As a little tap. Now, you could use a cluster or... Uh, anything, a little piece of ribbon or a seam binding or a little button or anything, but I just thought this little guy was so cute. And he's botanical because he's a flower. Yeah. Okay. But all of this out? Do I need all of it? I don't know. I don't know if I need all of it. All right, I'll just get rid of that. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool as it is. Maybe I'll leave that the way it's bigger. I don't know, now I'm confused. Let's see. Now I'm gonna go for the small thing. Yeah. Just keep it small, Pam. Keep it small, bring it home. Maybe those little red flowers. We'll see. I don't know. I might snip those off. We'll just see where it goes. Okay. Something like that. All right, we can do that. Let's see what way it looks better. And it's just a little pull tab. It's just indicating there's something to do there. Um, well, deepen this a little bit. Okay. Put it like this. I kind of like that. But also do it like this. But I think I'm going to do this. I don't know why. It just says, do it that way. Do it that way, sister, it said. All right. I'm just going to glue half of it on, half of it off, and make sure I get the glue on the page. And all over the page because that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So now we have this. There we go. And it also can be written on this way. So this is an extender page. And that just tucks in there. And those are just kind of fun to do. Very easy. Not difficult. Very beginner friendly. And um, let's try one of these long pieces. Because sometimes we have pockets that are, are longer. So... Um, I think I'm going to fold this in half. Maybe it's a little long. I'm going to tear the top off. Maybe I'm going to glue it together, make something a little thicker, maybe like a little quickie bookmark or something like that might be fun. Something usable, 
something um, fun to make. And to the bottom two. Okay. It's pretty long. Let's hear a little bit more. All right. All right. So let's ink her up. Ink her up. It's going to be a little simple one. Nothing too fancy. But it will have a, its own little purpose. Oh, I had a black piece of... Uh, I had a black piece of ribbon hanging around. Let me just grab it because it should be right, right where I dropped it, which will be right here. Yes, I have now retrieved it. Maybe I'll make this the upside. And one of the easiest ways to do like a little bunny ear thing is just fold it. You don't have to do much more to it than that. And it can be stapled on. You have one of these da 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 Tim's tiny attachers. Uh, also known as a small stapler. Thank you, Tim, for creating it. I use it all the time. And a little edging and maybe fray the edges a little bit. You know, get that rat, ratty, tattered kind of vintage look, that feel. All right. And here, staple. There. And we could put something on there too. Uh, okay, I'm going to go into my punched. All right, we're going to bring this little box over. This is a good thing. Like when you don't know what to do, just punch out some shapes. And then you'll have a little drawer filled of punched shapes that you can, can put here at any moment's notice. Put a heart there. That might work. Uh, or think botanical. Oh, here's a, here's a blue leaf. That looks kind of pretty with the blue lines. Let's do that. Maybe I'll just ink it up a little around the bottom where it's against the similar toned paper, but it pops nicely against the black. There we go. That's going to be what it is. We're going to say that's the one we're going to go with. Okay. Glue her down over where the stencil is. Get glue everywhere. That's part of it. Part of being a crafter. There we go. All right, so I think I feel like I want a word or something like that on there. Now let me go back in here. Take my heart and I'm out of here. Okay. Let's see. I have a little drawer full of words. Oops. I'm dropping all my, my punch designs all over the floor. Okay, get them later. All right. I have this little drawer full of words. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a nice word. Joy. Yeah. Okay. It's not the exact same edging, but it will do. I do both sides. It will look uniform. Okay. And I ink it just a hair. Just a hair. And we've now made ourselves a cute little bookmark. And they can write on here if they want to put little notes. Uh, maybe this is where I'd like to add a quote or a poem or something. You know, maybe they're, they're going to say, hit this spot in the book. They can remind themselves. And they could erase it and come back and do it again, stuff like that. And I think I'm going to get just a regular uh, little black gel tip pen. Let me go a little closer. All right. Maybe I'm just going to... We're just gonna do some swirlies or something. We're going a little closer. All right. Uh, okay. And do some of these roundy loos. All right. All right. And maybe some roundy loos here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to put a big heart here. Yep. Maybe another little heart in the background. Yep. Okay, just a little extra drawing and maybe some drawing up here. I don't know if you can see any of that. Sorry. 
um, to complementary roundy loose coming out of here, and maybe a few from the side. They're just swirlies. They're nothing fancy, but they're just kind of fun. And I do a little bit more. And this is where you you know you just sort of get lost. And you could actually make hearts like this. You could do like a oh that's kind of fun. There we go. Never thought of one of those hearts before. There you go. How about that? And then maybe just some faux stitching down the side. So this doesn't require a lot of um, materials and things like that or fancy tools. Okay, there was Tim's tiny attacher, I agree. Uh, but, uh, oops, sorry. There you go. Um, not bad as far as, um, you know, a little gel pen or a uh, fine tipped marker, a little in like pinpoint sharpie marker or something like that. And uh, there we go. So that one is all done. Now we are aware. This is the third signature. Yep. And we got to pop this baby in here in an opportune place at where it looks down. Oh, that kind of looks pretty on there. I do like that. How about the creams and everything? Oh, this is a pocket. Oh, you got a pocket. There we go. I think you found a home. There, there you are. All right, we are good. So let me find little mm -hmm. Mr. Snuffers. We'll have a quick, a very quick pup date because he's, for some reason, the videos are taking forever to upload. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are on your pillow. <laughs> what a shocker. You ready for your pup date, mister? Yeah, no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be concise, okay? All right, I can be very concise when I have to be. All right, all right. All right, here he, here he comes. Hello, everybody. Oh, I have something on my nose. Excuse me. Hello, everybody. This is Sunshine, Cub Pup Reporter, being concise. Concisement. Concising. Concise them. Uh, okay, that's all. It's, it's very concise. That's all I have to say. Happy crafting. Sunshine out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, that's how it goes sometimes. All right, folks. Um, I hope you had fun here. I always enjoy spending time with you. So thank you very much for coming out. Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. All the links are down below. Or if you can't see the links down below, uh, type in this link and you can see all my links to my, um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Friday, Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 a.m. Easter time. I have an Etsy shop where you can find journals and bundles and kits and fundles and things like that when I have them available. And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies and um, a print and mail op uh, option if you like the digi kits but you don't have a way to print, I will print them out for you for a flat fee. And um, I have a merchandise shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything as a craft supply until proven otherwise. You can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip toady, mug tote, or water bottle. And you can find me on all the uh, social media platforms, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group and have a lot of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges over there and seeing what you guys make from these videos. And remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.